Well, hello there, everyone. Okay, so if you had seen my message, I'm on my YouTube channel right now. Um, my last video that I had uploaded or tried to upload yesterday got blocked because of the copyright claim from uh, the new Suspicious Minds video. Um, I'm just thinking that because it's a full length, I show, I always show like the full video. I don't really like stop and, and talk about stuff in between, which I'm think I might have to do for this one. Um, yeah, so apparently YouTube didn't like that, uh, copyright claim on it. I'm thinking because it's newer, it's, you know, versus the older Elvis, uh, materials. And with the new Elvis movie coming out, they're getting a little bit more restrictive on some of this Elvis material, which thanks. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, I'm basically putting this clip right here of this video and I edited out the whole Suspicious Minds video reaction because it was the first time that I had watched it and I, I really liked it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just clip that whole part out and just keep the, the beginning of my video, which talks about my stickers um, and the new playing cards uh, reveal because I did want to open that in front of everyone for the first time. And I, I include the links to... Uh, my Etsy shop and I include the link to the Elvis playing cards um, in my description. So enjoy the video and I'm probably going to do a new Suspicious Minds video. Um, this time I might probably splice it up a little bit, pause, talk in between, and then play it again. I really don't like to do that, but I kind of feel like that is going to help kind of wiggle around some of this new Elvis material so that I don't I'll keep getting this copyright blocked stuff. I did do a um, dispute, I filed a dispute, but they said it could take up to 30 days and I thought, man, this is gonna take forever. I really wanna show off my stickers and I really want you guys to see this really cool uh, Elvis playing deck here. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. So enjoy the partial video and I'll get to Suspicious Minds somehow, some way. It will work. See you guys soon. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back. So, crazy update is um, I saw Elvis movie three times. <laughs> but my stickers are actually doing pretty good on Etsy. I wanna show you a few new ones that I added. I might as well show you all of them. So in case you're new here, there are, um, since the Elvis movie, I'm out of breath a little bit because I totally forgot before I was recording that I had to bring my stickers upstairs. So, oh. okay, I'm going to showcase all my stickers that I have available on my Etsy shop. And I also have a little pin. Um, I'll put the, in my description, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop. And I know a few of you in my last video, um, were at, actually interested in my stickers and, and bought some. So thank you so much. I'm glad you like them. I'm making a lot of new Elvis friends on Etsy. Everyone on there <clears throat> that's purchased a sticker um, has already seen the movie twice, at least, because I'll, I'll message them saying, thank you for your order. I hope you like the Elvis movie. And they always reply, oh my gosh, it was like the best movie ever, obviously. And on top of that, I've seen it like twice. So, um, yeah, it's really, it's really good. I mean, I can't imagine anyone who's an Elvis fan who hasn't seen it yet. But if you haven't, you need to go out there and see it. Because the longer, the more we go out and see it, the longer it stays in theaters. And hopefully more Elvis fans emerge. Okay, so I'm going to start off with one of my stickers, one of my first creations was the Elvis Bond sticker. Let me see if I can do a little focus on this one. I'm trying to get in there pretty good. Let me see. Get some clarity on that. Not me, the sticker. I guess that's the best it's going to get. That's the, probably the clearest it's going to get, guys. 
So obviously a James Bond um, mixed in with some Elvis and Anne Margaret from Viva Las Vegas. So this is a little combo specially made just because I loved um, Viva Las Vegas is one of my favorite more fun movies and I'm a James Bond fan so I had to do something Elvis Bond. I just thought it'd be cool. And then let's go through the the eras here. I have one uh, 50s Elvis. Okay, pretty cool. These measure about four and a half inches high and this is always a little bit different so the width of the stickers change. This could be four inches to four and a half to five inches with the guitar handle out here. This is probably pretty close to five inches in width. So pretty big sticker. Perfect for your water bottle. I have people buying them for their laptops. Bloop, right here, back of my laptop. So we have the 50s Elvis. And then we jump to If I Can Dream Elvis. Hey, hey how you doing? How you doing? I wish it wasn't so blurry. And they smell like a brand new swimming pool. Mm. I wish they smell like Elvis. All right. And then we have a few of the Austin Butler, which are pretty popular too. So those that are new, like new Elvis fans, <laughs> thanks to Austin Butler, everyone has been complimenting how well this actor did portraying Elvis and he, he does great. Um, so if you're an Austin Butler fan as Elvis, I do have two variations of the 68 comeback. The fancy silhouette dancers in the background, the guitarists, the red scarf, this one's titled the red scarf. And then here we have the 68 comeback with him in the black leather jacket. And it smells like leather. I'm just kidding. It doesn't. It smells like swimming pool. Okay. And then they're vinyl. Waterproof. Very st sturdy. They're pretty thick. I mean, these are durable. And I did had to remove a, a sticker and readjust so I can fit uh, more stickers on my water bottle. So you can peel these off again, just very carefully. Don't rush it. You can peel them off, they're removable, and then you can stick them back on. And I haven't had any problems with them falling off or um, anything like that. So, poke salad Annie. I had to have a poke salad Annie. Because I love that song. So good. And because that was one of my favorites, I made a little pin. Ah. Uh. Wish I could focus on that one. It's about an inch and a quarter, I want to say. So there's the front and back. It does come with a little protective um, plastic you have to peel, which is a pain in the butt. Um, I had these done at Sticker Mule. And quality is pretty good. My first pins I've ever made. Um, you know, you just kind of pop off the little back here. You got a little pin collection. Slap it on your hat, your shirt collar pretty nice um yeah so the only pain in the butt is getting that little protective plastic sheet off the front and you just kind of have to peel that off and then it's going to be nice and shiny but if you do order these um remember it looks funky and scratched up on the front because of that piece of plastic so you have to take that little plastic off and then it's brand new um but i think that's it as, as far as my my product um those are it so far, and they're hit. They're hit right now. Uh, I've even I've even had um, someone ask me if I have another Austin Butler sticker on their way, and I asked, um, you know, well, it's possible. What's your favorite? You know, what's, what was your favorite Austin Butler Elvis? And she had said either the fifties, um, you know, when he was in like the pink suit. And I go, well, I do have the pink suit one, but. Elvis Presley. It's not the Austin Butler one. Even though this is Austin Butler's body. Okay. And I just happened to draw Elvis Presley's face because I was like, well, we got to get some Elvis Presley stickers out there. Um, so she said, well, how about the 
the trouble, you know, the trouble at the stadium. Um, black suit, red tie, and I was like, huh, that might be an interesting one. So I was like, okay, I might have to work on that one next. So that one's coming. I haven't started it yet because that request was made a couple hours ago. Um, anyways, this right here, not created by me. I found this in my Facebook feed because of all of the fun Elvis stuff I've been searching or, you know, how our phones listen to us. <laughs> it's been hearing a lot about Elvis. So I saw this scroll by in my feed. They're Elvis playing cards. And I haven't opened them yet. I got them in the mail yesterday. I've been waiting for a week. And I waited to do the reveal with you guys. That's how special you are. I've been waiting all this time to open them. And I should have done like a pre pill Because sometimes these things are tricky. Yeah. I don't know, I have much long nails, but... It's coming along. I was like, oh my gosh, I have I have an older like deck of cards of Elvis, but I think I bought those like early 2000s and they're kind of outdated and but oh my gosh, look at this. Eee! Oh, little Elvis. See that? Oh, okay. I don't want to rip it. <laughs> patience, patience is like a stamp. When you accidentally put a stamp on an envelope and you're like, oh crap. Wrong stamp. Please don't rip. Whew. Got that off. Look at that. Save myself a cool little Elvis foil stamp. Put that on my water bottle. It's gonna go on my laptop for now. Pretty cool. All right, let's open this. <clears throat> oh, neat, look. It's a signature. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like, I listen here like, I'm gonna let my kids play with play with these and I'll teach them how to play hold them and all that stuff. Now I'm looking at them. I'm like, I don't know if I want my kids greasy fingers on these. That's pretty neat. They're matte. They have a cool little texture. And a gold little hound down there. Oh, these Gary, these are going to get better and better. Look at this. How about that? Okay. And then we got some regular numbers here. That's cool. Ooh, Jack. Nothing Elvis. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to look into this. Maybe that's just Jack. Might be just Jack. This right here looks like it might be Priscilla. Because she's the queen, right? <laughs> king and queen. Oh, the king. Mr. Elvis himself. I love these. These are so cool regular deck and then it goes back oh look at that elvis oh my gosh hold on i'm gonna mix these all up out they're not gonna be in order anyways look at that 70s king how cool is that another 50s sweet Let's see if I find anything else number wait these ones okay this one had the gold Gold shades. This one has a pink tint. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. This one's because she got flower in her hair. Pink flower. Oh, these are so cool. These are so funny. I gotta figure out who this is. The Jack. Can anyone help me? Who do you think the Jack is? We got Elvis. We got Priscilla. Jack. Mm. Who can represent the J? And then we got some cool, like, fancy decorative cover cards. I guess they could be used as a joker. Pretty sweet, huh? Look at the little Elvis jailhouse rock. And we got a TCB. How fun. 
would have been fun to be a part of this. It's giving me like inspiration. I might want to do like an Elvis sticker in this style. It might be kind of cool to have. So, yeah. I don't know if I want my kids playing with these. These are mine. My cards. Mine only. I'll play speed by myself. Solitaire. <laughs> Just me and Elvis. Fancy box. I like the pattern inside. Pretty cool. Yay! Well, thank you for being here during my reveal. That was fun. That thing's pretty sturdy. I'll put a link in my description where I ordered these. So if you guys want to get yourself a copy. They had a lot of cool other ones on there. I did order a Marvel box set because our whole family likes Marvel movies. Um, so yeah, maybe that's the ones I'm going to play with the kids and I'll just hold them to these. So, I mean, who wouldn't want to end up at an Elvis concert? Of all Elvis concerts, and comment, comment on this because... Everyone always asks me, what's, who's your favorite, you know, what's your favorite Elvis? And I'm like, I can't, I mean, if I had to choose one, I know, I already know what I would choose. But as far as being, like, having a favorite Elvis, that's hard to choose because he was awesome in the 50s. And he was fun, wild, crazy. He's just, you know, he's just getting a feel for himself at that time. So he's growing. And then you get to 68 comeback special Elvis and the actor Elvis and he's like sexy he's a little bit more mellow he's a little bit more serious he's kind of you know he's just more of a sexy icon at that point and then you get to 70s Elvis and I mean 69 and on you know flares you know the bell bottoms the jumpsuits the <laughs> the wiggle and the jiggle and just you know the the fact that he could lose himself in in his music and you saw more of that in the 70s on live stage and I like if I had to choose one concert if I were to die and God allowed me to attend one concert I would want to go to the international and sit in one of those like midnight showings I have a feeling Elvis was probably the wildest when it was later. I'm just taking a guess. So a midnight showing, he would start at midnight and end at like 2 a.m. And I was like, I've always been a night owl. So I would choose a midnight concert. Elvis Presley, Las Vegas International Hotel. And my favorite song would probably be, um, performance-wise, Poke Salad Annie. I would want him to sing uh, Love Me Tender and I would want to make sure that I'm one of the girls that gets a kiss in Love Me Tender. So that would be my my one wish from God. <laughs> if I could just see one Elvis concert. <laughs> Did I say Elvish? <laughs> one Elvis concert would be the International. Let me know what your guys' concert requests would be. If you had to be at one concert, one performance, whatever, you tell me where you want to be. Do you want to be there during the hayride time? Do you want to be at the 68 comeback special? Do you want to be at the Aloha Hawaii? Where do you want to be? Let me know. And... Follow me on Etsy. Like I said, I'll have everything in the description where I got these lovely cards, where to buy your Elvis stickers. All of that will be linked in my description to this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was fun. Um, I think our next one is going to be the Can't Help Falling in Love. What do you think? Any suggestions? Comment. All right. Remember, Elvis, king of rock and roll. Jesus, king of kings. God bless you guys. Bye.